quick. Robesi Ramirez is expected to return June 9th, or at least according to him, he is. All right. Uh, right now, I believe he's two and one. All right. Uh, two straight wins after his his uh, disastrous debut. I mean, gold medalist out of Cuba. He was known as the guy that beat Shakur Stevenson in the gold medal match and all this hype, and then he just loses. Um, you know, and he lost to uh, Aiden Gonzalez, uh, and, and he's already talking. He's talking about. Down the line, I want to face your core Stevenson. Why is he, you know, talking about facing Gonzalez again, Dave, and, and avenging his loss right there? You know, you always got to attach your name to the most popular name, you know? And that's that's just the way, that's a traditional way of these fighters now. I mean, it's the internet way of what fighters are doing. They attach themselves to the guy that's most talked about and has their clout, that has the clout, right? That's That's... That's the magic carpet you jump on. That's why he's doing it. All right. Uh, but you don't think, you know, he should he should fight. He could beat that guy, okay? He's a journeyman, bro. He should he just fight that dude, get, get that win, and get him out of the way. Or I think I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to move on. I mean, you know, the, here's the thing. Like, like, look, I like Ryan Garcia. I yeah. think Ryan Garcia has got some good skills. OK, did Ryan Garcia, I mean, if you're going to bitch and moan about Canelo Alvarez's, uh, uh, you know, intro into boxing and where he's at. I mean, at least Canelo was fighting a whole lot before getting all this prize money and recognition. He was out. He was out there for a minute. You know, Ryan Garcia, here he is, uh, YouTube sensation, Instagram and cessation and he's getting all this recognition and i think the younger generation you're going to see a lot of this unfortunately you're going to see a lot more of this because this is where we're at this is where we're at now with our sport it's quicker to get the i mean look recording artists are out there they're able to get their stuff out there and faster than the more more traditional way fighters not just fighters but people in general they don't want to take the law hall to get to right. the money point they want it immediately. That's that's where we're at, you know. So, do I blame him? No, because he sees exactly how it worked for A, B, and C. Why would he want to do it? You know, that's that's why that's why he's like, no, I don't want to redeem myself. Why should I redeem myself? You know, I, I can attach my name to this guy. Maybe possibly uh, uh, create enough noise where everybody's going to be like, yeah, I want to see this fight. Let's make this fight happen because we're in the in internet world. Chief Funky, what do you think, man? I mean, he's over here trying to cloud chase a dude he already beat in the uh, in the gold medal match, by the way. All right, but but he ha he he doesn't he ain't talking about the dude that beat him in his debut match, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> that's Crazy. pretty funny. Um, but you know, honestly, I think he'll probably end up getting back in there with that guy eventually. Uh, I don't know how how quick this fight with Stevenson will happen. Um, Although he is, you know, becoming one of the, the biggest, youngest uh, stars in boxing right now. Um, it will happen. I look forward to that fight, man. I look forward to that, that rematch, if possible, between um, uh, Ramirez and, and Stevenson. But he's got to get in there and beat this guy. You know, I'm an old school fight fan, man. So the dude beats you in a close fight. Um, hey, get back in there. Get, get rid of this dude. Show them why you're the the medalist and and all that good stuff man and then you start calling people out like stevenson but um yeah i don't know man i don't know when that's gonna happen i hope it does though because i always like to see these matches take place in the professionals uh boxing ring from well, the amateurs you know but they uh, the guy that did. beat him is is aiden gonzalez he's four two and two bro he's got to rematch that dude and beat him bro yeah you know but I mean? let me ask you this what's more what's more sellable for a promoter to put out, you beat this kid, beat Shakur Stevenson, or he lost to his debut to a guy that a lot of us don't even know. I'm gonna go the route. Right, the, the, match, yeah. the story's more juicy that hey, he beat him in the Olympics. He beat him, you know, in the amateurs. That's the story that they're gonna sell. That story's gonna be more appealing. And trust me, if it happens. Do you think ESPN is going to mention that this kid Ramirez lost in his pro debut? Debut? They probably will throw it in there really quick. But the the but, but the meat of the story is going to be: Hey, he beat Shakur. This is a revenge 
for Shakur. It's going to surround Shakur. So, of course, Shakur and them are going to want that fight because it's a sellable fight and it's going to put asses in the seat. Whereas, fight the guy that 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 beat you in your uh, pro debut, what you'll probably make minimums. Not even you will probably even won't meet minimums, and you'll get more money fighting Shakur, and you might lose that fight or you might win that fight, and it can escalate you different. You know, I, that's the gamble that they're doing, which is a very smart move to tell you the truth. You go with the guy that's got the clout, you go with the more recognizable name, and you go with the better story. It's a no-brainer, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked off the line. You, you mentioned how uh, Lomachenko lost to Salido when he became more established. You know, they were out for the rematch. But that's Orlando Salido, though. Orlando Salido was a world champion. Yeah. And, like, this guy lost to a dude who was just a journeyman. I just feel like he has to avenge it. Like, I, I just hmm. – I, I mean, well, I, don't, say, I, don't, uh, I don't think he has to, man, to tell you the truth. Because no? here's the thing. If he beats Shakur Stevenson – he just beat the man. You, right. you know what I mean? And 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 he could either it could either boost him or it could be like when people beat Oscar De La Hoya. You know what I mean? They beat him, but they didn't do much for their career, you know, because Oscar still went on and kept fighting and, and, and was still a mega star. You know, right. that could happen. It could happen for Ramirez, though, on the other hand, where he beats Shakur Stevenson. Guess what? He's on the map. People want to see him, you know, so people are gonna forgive him. For losing to a journeyman in his pro debut, they could say, hey, man, he got cold feet. I don't know. You know what I mean? His fans will eventually, if that happens, would eventually come up with the the, the best excuse ever to, to allow him to avoid because the money's got to be there, you know? And, and at the same time, the money's got to be right, not just for him, but for the opponent, the guy that, that beat him. The guy could, that guy, if he beats the Corey Stevenson, I'll guarantee it won't happen. And I'll tell you why. Because the other guy would be like, well, shit, I want more money. Yeah. So money always comes into play. Yeah, money always comes into play. Um, and look, I watched that fight, man. And I, I felt Robesio Ramirez won, but it, it wasn't official. Same the here. Knockdown, the knockdown just played a big role in it, and it was like a four-round fight and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, hey, I'll, I'll, he wouldn't be the first guy that lost early in his career. Right, you know, and, and you know a lot. Of, even Toledo, we talked about him. Uh, Salvador Sanchez had a loss early in his career, Hop and Hopkins. they just they kept, yeah, Hopkins, right? They kept him moving. Um, so I get it. ESPN removed the loss from Lomachenko's record when they were showing him on TV. <laughs> so maybe they'll do that with the Robesi Ramirez, bro. They'll be like, he's the undefeated Robesi Ramirez. Uh, he had that one loss. Right? Anyway, um, we're gonna move on. <laughs> You know, uh, or maybe they'll say, oh, he was robbed in that fight and move on or something. You know what yeah, I mean? It wouldn't right. surprise me. ESPN always does something like that. Plus, there's so many people that don't even know shit about boxing that watch those ESPN cards. It won't even it won't even bother them, you know. <laughs> now they'll hear gold medalist defeated Shakur Stevenson for the gold medal match, and that's all that will sell. So I do got to agree with that. You guys kind of changed my mind a little bit, Ash. All right. Uh, now, I had said maybe uh, he saw how Lomachenko never uh, rematched Salido and got away with it. Yeah. Uh, although, look, man, this dude ain't no – the guy he lost to is no uh, – okay. It, it ain't that's no Salido. Though. That's not true, though. Lomo did uh, offer them, and it was uh, Salido on their team. Uh, that right. didn't they, they they felt shaft they were like you're offering us very little money because Lomo was at you know he was like he was the star regardless right. and that's what I mean like when Oscar de la Hoya lost to somebody it or even like Eric Morales when he lost it, it didn't mean or Manny Pack it didn't mean that 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 other person was gonna automatically be a mega star you know it, it just doesn't happen that way you know so you know, uh, uh, Orlando should have been the A side, but guess what? He was treated as the B side for negotiations for a rematch. 